Have you ever wondered why so many people are drawn to playing musical instruments? And have you wondered why introverts are some of the best musicians and why those that are either physically or mentally challenged are able to express themselves through music? It turns out there's more to it than just creating beautiful melodies. So why is playing a musical instrument good for the brain? So actually, there are several advantages of playing an instrument for the brain, affecting anything from emotional health to cognitive performance. So just imagine this, playing music is the brain's version of a full body workout. So let's look at the first benefit, improve cognitive skills. Firstly, playing an instrument stimulates multiple areas of the brain simultaneously. With emphasis on the visual, motor, and auditory cortexes. Now, past research revealed that trained musicians think differently than those that are not musically talented. Psychologists from Vanderbilt University found that professional trained musicians effectively use something called divergent thinking. Now, divergent thinking is a thought process or a method used to generate creative ideas by exploring many possible options. And it generally occurs when a musician is spontaneous or free-flowing and it creates a way to think in multiple different ways, something like nonlinear thinking, and it's not just in one way or a specific direction. So whether a musician is formally trained or naturally gifted, they have the ability to use divergent thinking. And another benefit, enhanced motor skills. Now playing an instrument requires precise movement and coordination. So let's quickly look at the functions of the brain and we're going to look at the parts that deal specifically with musicians and we're going to look at the left and right hemispheres. Let's start with the motor cortex which deals with movement, foot tapping, dancing and playing an instrument. We're going to move over to the sensory cortex which is tactile feedback from playing an instrument and dancing. Then the auditory cortex which is the first stages of listening to sounds and the perception and analysis of tones. And lastly, the visual cortex, which deals with reading music, looking at a performer or one's own movements. Now here is where it gets really interesting. Great benefit, emotional and stress relief. Now music has a powerful impact on our emotions and playing an instrument can release feel good chemicals in the brain such as endorphins, which will help to reduce stress and elevate mood. So let's quickly go over some medical benefits. Now it's no surprise that music can help with stroke victims and autism in children. Music therapy is used as a tool to help stroke victims regain their speaking abilities. Now, neurologists found that a stroke victim could sing a song lyrics even when they had difficulty speaking. Lastly, let's look at therapeutic studies. A speech therapist used the method of MIT, Methodic Information Therapy, by having a patient sing a song while tapping out a rhythm with their left hand. The tapping stabilized the right side of the brain. Although the left side of the brain is where language derives from, both sides are used in vocal uses, thus helping in the recovery process. Now, similar positive responses were found with children that were unable to speak or suffered with autism. Studies found that music can assist a child in focusing and developing motor skills. So, in conclusion, music reduces stress, increases memory capabilities, strengthens your immune system, increases personal discipline, and breeds confidence. So whether you are strumming a guitar, tickling the ivories, or blowing a saxophone, remember that every note that you play is not only music to the ears, but it's also a symphony for the brain. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this one, watch this next video I'm sure you will enjoy. And don't forget to like 
and subscribe. And remember, don't miss a uh.